Right, okay, so here we go. We've unloosened the ball off, and the spark plug is at the bottom of this well. Now, what do you reckon on the chances of the spark plug staying inside the socket and coming out? I'd say pretty slim. Right, let's have a go. There you go, alright. Let's try undoing this one. That one's been a bit more obstinate. I'm sitting and loosen them all off. See, a lot of these spark plug sockets have got little rubber rings inside that hold on to the spark plug. They also stop you snapping the spark plug. It holds it steady in the socket. But this is a very old socket and the rubber bits come out a long time ago and I don't know where it is. So we're just going to wiggle that out of there. Loosen that off. And then we'll probably have to get a long pair of pliers down in there. and pick the buggers out so they're all loosened off all right let's put you back in there then now this was also fun to get off the top of the oil filter housing because whoever had the car before done it up so tight i could barely get the damn thing undone Let's put you there, and you might be able to see. Come around here a bit. Oh, look at that. It's because I've done it last time. So you can actually unscrew it properly. I feel like I was going to get Lou Ferengo in to undo the damn thing last time. It's so tight. Oh, we got marvellous. It's still full of oil because it hasn't all drained out for it. Right, get a bit of tissue to get rid of the old filter. There we are. Come on. That was a mess, that was. Dear, oh dear. That was a very, very messy filter. Really proper bunged up. My last oil change was two years ago, so it's about 12,000 miles. Look at that, that's proper caked in it. That is, there's no bits of metal in it, that's good. Here we are, that's the oil filter housing down in there. It's coughed oil out all over the engine, which is absolutely marvelous. It's just what you want in it. We'll give it a quick wipe out in there, like that. Here we are. Getting a dirty residue out from inside the housing like that crap. And then we'll plonk the new filter in. So let's see. This is where they've given you the wrong filter. Oh no, that looks like the right one. Right. So you've got to make sure you put that end in first. You don't put that end in because that end is sealed. If you put that end, try and get that end, it probably won't fit anyway. You want to push that in there. You'll feel the uh, the centre of it. Just take your time and wiggle the bugger around, and it'll slot on like that. And then the cap. It's got a little thing inside here as well. All this, and that will fit on the top of the existing filter and then screw it and hopefully all will be good so we got that in we'll get the old plugs out and then i'll get back to you again catch it easy catch it easy take it easy <laughs>